You look happy now. Well, we're to an, another city hardware. This is the one on Diversion Road, um, right in Iloilo. The one I go to all the time in the videos is the one in Oton. I have not been in this one in several years, actually. All right, let's get in there, man. Let's go. Tell you what, this city hardware is nothing like the one that I love to go to there in Oton. I tell you what, I was taking this out though. This big old uh, mixer they have right here. And this thing's got a big old gearbox on it, huge pulley, mount a motor up here, it's got a drive shaft underneath. And then this in here is the mixer area. And I've seen these, I saw these on some uh, videos where they were doing mixes and making uh, pavers and a hollow block and stuff in India. And it was the first time that I'd ever seen one of these like this. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, some of this is like parts of an, a, a truck axle. In fact, you see that right there. If you pulled these nuts, which are already loose, and lift that up, that's like a truck axle, truck axle coming up out of there. Yep, I am right. It's half of a truck rear end. See the other axles removed? That's right. I just now saw it. Yeah. It's in the big old pieces of huge rebar right here. And you got a, a foot that comes around, mixes one on in here, smaller that kind of splits it like a shoe, and another scraper in there. And then what they do is they open this chute and they dump it. They'll set this thing mounted up kind of high, and they'll have where they can come up and just dump into that, like uh, with a wheelbarrow, buckets, whatever. And they'll get this mix just right going in here, and uh, and then dump. Boy, I bet this joker is heavy because this is some thick, thick steel. Watch out how heavy this thing is. If you want to get it out of this store, they're going to be doing a lot of work getting it out of here for you. <laughs> yeah. I bet this induction motor sitting here probably goes with it, that big electric motor sitting there. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. The thing is probably... I'd say maybe five and a half foot across on diameter right here. Something about something about like that. It's definitely uh, homemade. Oh, check this out. Now I just noticed what this is. Check this out. It's all made of old truck parts. Watch this. So the gearbox right here that I saw, it's a gearbox, all right. It's a transmission. Yeah, and that is the bell housing right there where it goes onto a an engine yeah bell housing right there transmission and then a rear end shoot they've been just well to extend this frame out longer and just have a small diesel motor bolted right onto the bell housing just the way it goes now it's got some handles here for some reason something unlocks here oh that's gonna be this is gonna be what opens that door and then that door opens, yeah. Yeah. And then that'll spin around and dump it out of the bottom. There. Waiting, waiting. I'm trying to figure this one out. This lifts. I think it's stuck. This is a, a hollow block form here itself, it looks like. This is going to be it's going to be your hollow block. It's going to be the holes uh, in the hollow block right there. Yeah some more hollow block tools here yep sure is alright so we finally got out of that city hardware man well I made one more stop here I'm uh, still right here um, on the edge of Molo heading back home Molo is uh, area in Iloilo and so uh, there's a place here called Western Lamp. Now they are supposed to be the go-to place for electrical supply stuff and including some items from the United States and the wet other places in uh, Western nations as well. Uh, breakers and different things and all like that. I don't know if they're, if they're kind or not for videoing. I don't know, but I'm gonna go up here and try to get a couple things and we're gonna see what's gonna happen.
That's them right there. Next. Yep, I need those. Man, I'm so glad you got these. Uh, maybe, um, let's see, maybe 120 pieces. You have a lot? You yes. have many? Okay. 120 pieces. What about um, the electrical entrance cap? What size? Um, well, what sizes do you have? One half, three board, one inch. One inch, that's what I need, one inch. One inch. Perfect. You need that? Um, go ahead, I think I have a stock, but just in case, go ahead, give me that also. Yes. Yeah, just in case I'm out of stock. What about grounding rods? Yes. What size? Is it all copper? Uh, or copper coated? Copper coated. Copper coating, can I see? How you mom? Coated then. Coated. Uh, how much is this? Six fifty. Six fifty? Uh I wanna get this. Do you have the uh the clamp, yeah. Give me the clamp. Perfect. This time, finally, at late in the afternoon, heading back to the job site. Well, Western Lamp was a score. The little conduit nuts right here. So hard to come by. Um, I've had places that did have them and I bought the last of their stock and they never replenished them. It's like, we finally got rid of that. Nobody wanted them anyway. But I went to Western Lamp and man, I asked him you had them, what size? Half inch. You got them? Yeah, how many you need? Um, I told him maybe 120 of them. I said, you have that many? Oh yes, sir. Man, he comes out with a box. It probably had three, 4,000 of them in there, you know? Now that's what I'm talking about right there. You got ground rods? Yes, sir. What size? Well, they didn't have the real deep long ones like I like, the super deep ones. Now I like to have maybe at least a 12 footer or a 10 footer. Well, I didn't get lucky for that. But I did get a still a pretty decent ground rod, and I tell you what, having something is a whole lot better than having nothing. But that was a score also, and the nut there that goes on top of it. I hurried and put down my phone, put on my mask. I'm driving in the car. It's just me and my wife, which she should have hers on too. We went by a traffic management cop. Boy, he was looking hard. And... Uh, I can roll in the car without one if I'm riding by myself. But if you have a passenger, even if it's your wife or family, you're supposed to all have them on. Now, here's the theory behind that, okay? You gotta kinda understand a little bit. If they're gonna have this rule I, about masks, I can kinda understand it. And here's the deal. They said they don't wanna spend the time and the manpower trying to pull people over to find out who belongs to who, you know? like proving this is my wife you know and we share the same household and all that it's too too hard for them with this rule in place it's too hard for them to do that you know like i mean she's gonna wear a big blinking sign on her forehead that says i'm his wife you know i'm her husband so they just to try to keep down the confusion of deciding who's breaking the rules and who's not they just decided that if you're by yourself you can drive without a mask, but if you're rolling with somebody, you gotta wear them. So, we're out here working on prepping openings, and while we're working on it, the GB Majestic Glass just popped up. I had no clue they were coming. Let's make the 
It's just a, the frame's just a little wider than the. Uh, it don't have nothing there to hit. Oh, how are we gonna do that? It's coming out a little bit wider. Well, let me show you something in here. When you install this other, look here. So this one. Whoop, sorry for the dust. We didn't know you're coming. We went. This one is good, okay? It's good. You see here? No hitting, right? Look here. Come here, look. You see this space? You see the distance? You see this? Now just remember this. This one's good. Let's go to this one. This one's no good. You see the distance? See the space? No space. Go look at that one. There's a space. Okay. You screwed the latch in the wrong place. That's why it's hitting. Hmm. Then, see, and it's hitting because this is all hitting that. That one is good. This one is not. And then, no, no screw. The holes made big and bored out. The screws almost punched all the way through right there. Just almost through the aluminum 100%. Okay. This one, the holes. That's not, that's not a good job. Excuse me. So the window is the hardware is hitting because he tried to bend this out to make it reach this. He bent this. I watched him when he did it the last trip. I just sat and watched what he did. And see here, don't even work. Because he screwed this latch, it was supposed to have been way on over here. So he tried to compensate by bending that. See? so bad see that it's supposed to be like this and instead it's almost all the way through the aluminum and then no screw and then no screw That's what I'm trying to say. I was asking you earlier, how are you going to do that? Because of this. You're drilling those and you're not even ready yet. You're marking and it's not even properly positioned yet. It's going to have to make sure it's 50-50 here. Yeah. So both, like right here, it's good. so that both edges are catching. Yep. You're marking that and it's not even in the right spot. Just take your time and do this right, okay? Don't try to be hurrying. It needs to make sure that stays centered just like that. You're gonna have, it, it don't matter if it's just a little like this. You need to keep it straight with the wall, okay? So that the track stays straight. Yeah, don't worry about, cause the glass this way ain't gonna matter much. Just keep it even with the wall, okay? The reason we're talking about that is that there's a hollow in behind here and we gotta keep that edge of this track on the concrete and it's the same on the other side and so if they try to flush this little flange right here to one side it makes the track fall off the other side on the wall but if we keep it where both sides have a little bit of flange sticking out like this it'll work out okay yeah Very good, this is nice.
Another good thing they got here right now is they got the felt on here. There's actually some of these guys will show up from these glass companies and they won't even have the felt. They won't even be there. And the windows will be rattling. One thing is I, I want to talk to them, but well, they showed up here without the rubber around the glass. And just go slow. Don't push real hard and fast. Uh, breaking it again. Maybe so. Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. I think that I think if you'll take it off hammer mode turn off the hammer part and put it just on drill that's demolition <laughs> yeah right here all the way right here oh. yeah and A little harder, but is your bit sharp? I've got some of those bits if you just need a sharp one. Oh, oh, yeah, he probably hit a stone. Yeah, let's, let's turn it off of that hard hammer. Right on the edge of that cement. He's having a screw right onto the edge in here and he had it pushing really hard and with that strong Bosch big hammer drill, all he's doing is just breaking out the side of the concrete here. I cut him. Turn it off that hammer. See, now it works now. Mm. Mm. It's no problem. Just got to do an adjustment on it. Okay, no problem. Now hold on. This lock, this is wrong. Huh? Is that, is that huh? Lock? Yeah. This is locked, sir. But not from the outside. Huh? Oh, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. The, the, the key's on the inside. <laughs> So it's the end now of another work day and they're going to come back and uh, set these windows out and put the rubber in that's supposed to be around the glass. So uh, we'll see that tomorrow. And one more truckload come in of that stone to put in those gabion cages. Um, I think we're going to pick out some of the big nice looking boulders. They're actually, when you clean them, they got a lot of color. They're just dirty right now. But happy to get that. I think we'll pick through some of the real nice ones and use them for a little bit of landscaping. I have not been up on top to see what work they did. And I'm so tired already at this point in the day, I don't feel like climbing on top. So you guys bear with me. I have had a day of running, running, running. Um, I know they're doing a bunch of like little button-up work. This little small, tedious work right now. That's not much you can see on video. Um, but soon, we'll be back up at the top, and I'll share a lot of video with you guys of what's going on there. What's up, kiddos? Hello, cutie pie. She sleep, huh? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can spend the night. Wow, I'm gonna have a house full. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna have a house full. <laughs> I heard that. It sounds like a slumber party. Everybody, stay happy. Don't let people tear you down. Don't let people take away your happiness. Remember, there's a lot in this world to be happy about. Too.